enhanced uh, uh, Condor Spires. Gets over the Fireball with the Dive. Negative eight in that situation, but it's so spaced out. Plus one. Crosscut. Oh, he tried to. He tried to crosscut. Looking for the perfect parry. Notice, uh, look, look at the inputs right there, actually. Look at the inputs. This is something that uh, you definitely need to identify at high level. This is a perfect parry option select to a punish, right? So you should have a lot of these ideas down. I do this with JP crouching medium kick or, or like down forward fierce or sometimes fireball. What you do is if you're going to parry a projectile, pretend that you're going to get the perfect parry and then do your next move after. If you get the perfect parry in this situation, her crouching fierce would have came out and potentially would have punished uh, Luke here, right? But if you don't get the perfect parry, you get the regular parry, your button doesn't activate because you're stuck in the regular parry animation. But this way, you don't have to think about the perfect parry situation. Like, you should know at these distances, if you're going to attempt to parry a fireball, what button would you press to punish after? Or what move? And you should always do parry to that move. Parry to that move right away. So that's why if you ever see a high level perfect parry to an immediate punish, they do it every single time based on the distance. And then if they happen to get the perfect parry on the projectile, they'll get that, that move to come out. So this is definitely a high level OS that most players are using. So if you're not doing that, you need to be thinking about that. This can turn the tides in a lot of matchups with people with projectiles who do these like projectile strings. Very, very common tactic against uh, characters with projectiles because this you can definitely get a punish here. I'm pretty sure on Luke preparing this projectile at this distance. 